welcome to another edition of How to Pass the Math FSA Grade 3. Today we will be working on this standard. It's maths.3.md.2.4 and the topic is measuring to the nearest quarter inch. We'll be measuring to the nearest quarter inch, half inch, and whole inch. Before I begin, let me show you this right here. This is sort of like a number line, but what you would see on a ruler. So we have a whole number, which could be zero. We have a whole number, which could be one. Or it could be two and three or four and five, however you see fit. But in the inch ruler, there are one, two, three little tick marks. There's a little bit of a longer one that would represent halfway between the holes, so which would be half an inch. And then a fourth of the way would be one fourth, and then three fourths of the way would be three fourths of an inch. So we'll be using this to help us today. Um, so let me teach ya. Example one, a pencil is shown. And just so you know, they give you a little bit of extra space right there between the start of the ruler and the zero. But just know that my eraser is lining up perfectly with that zero. Okay, so part A. What is the length of the pencil to the nearest whole inch? And I know it's kind of hard to see, but um, feel free to download the complete guide in the description box below, and you will be able to locate this same exact problem that I'm doing, plus a few extra for extra practices. Um, so back to this. What is the length of the pencil to the nearest whole inch? So I'm looking for an answer that would be like zero, one, two, three. Let's see where it ends. So I go all the way here, and the tip of my pencil is here. So it's between the seven and the eight, and it's a little bit closer to the seven inch line, seven inches. But here, part B says, what is the length of the pencil to the nearest half inch, which would be the half inches wouldn't just be like seven and a half, it would be seven, seven and a half, or eight. So this one is closest to the seven and a half inch line. Jizz. Right, example two, another pencil is shown. Again, my eraser is lining up with my zero. What is the length of the pencil to the nearest quarter inch? So a quarter inch would be one fourth, would be the whole, one fourth, one half, three fourths, or the next whole number. So let's see. Here's the tip, it's going right there. So this would be, here's my whole numbers. If I took this and blew it out, blew it out, blew it up over here, that would be four and five that we're talking about. And it's at not one fourth, not one half, but three fourths. So it'd be four and three fourths inches. Example three, this is where they incorporate measurement with line plots. So you won't really see line plots with the previous standard, the, the represent and interpret um, data, but you will see it for this one. So the measurement has already done, been done for you. It says the lengths of several pencils are, pencils are shown. Here's the pencil length. So pencil one is six and a half. Here's how much there we got, seven, eight and a half, five, six and a half, and eight and a half. And this says click in the boxes to create a line plot that shows these data. So I know it says click, and it says that in the item specs, but we won't be clicking because third grade, this is a paper-based test. So the best thing we can do is draw in X's for this line plot. So pencil one is six and a half. Just putting a check mark to make sure that I've already done it. Pencil two is seven. Done that one, eight and a half for pencil three, five for pencil four, and six and a half, and eight and a half. All right, that's all you gotta do. It's a graphic response item display. Grid item means you are interacting with the illustrations. 
All right, so for example four, it says select all the statements that correctly describe the data from example three. So I'm using example three to help me answer example four. Um, it's at A and selecting all. So this is a multi-select, means that there's probably gonna be more than one correct answer. So I'm gonna go through it nice and slow and make sure I understand it. There are three pencils that are seven inches long. There's only one pencil that is seven inches long, so I'm going to eliminate that answer choice. There are two pencils that are eight and a half inches long. One, two. Yes. There are more pencils that are six and a half inches long than five inches long. There are more pencils, there's two, that are six and a half, and there's one that is five, so that is correct. There are more pencils that are seven inches long than five inches long. There's one that is seven inches long and there's one that is five inches long. They are equal, so that statement is not true. There are fewer or less pencils that are seven inches long than eight and a half inches long. So seven has one, eight and a half has two inches long. So that statement is true because Fewer pencils are seven inches long than the eight and a half. So B, C, and E are all the correct answer. You must select all of those answers in order to receive credit. There is no partial credit for these answers, for these um, types of items. All right. Last problem for today for the standard. Match the lengths of the pencil to the nearest whole inch. Um, this is a matching item, so I'm just going to check which column is correct. So I've got different pencils here with the rulers already given, and I've got one inch, two inch, or three inches in the box. So this one starts at zero and ends at two and three quarters of an inch. So the closest, it's actually closer to the three than the two inches. Here, I'm starting at my zero right here at one and one-fourth inches, but I'm not measuring to the nearest quarter inch, I'm measuring to the nearest whole inch. So it's closer to the whole number one. And last, at the zero, it's at one and three-quarters again, not again, but at the three-quarters line, which is closer to the two. There you go. All right. So it's time for me to leave you with uh, some inspiring, inspirational, motivational words for you to think about the rest of the day, to reflect on in your life. Um, let me see what I've got for you today. Come on, computer. All right. Oh, this is a good one. Listen up, people. There's no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. There is no get-rich-quick Thing. There, you ha it takes hard work. You can't just take the elevator up. You can't just get an A on your test without studying. You have to put in hours of studying in order to get that A. And you have to do that. You have to put, if you want to lose weight, you have to put time and effort into that. You can't just go, boom, let me get on the elevator. No, you gotta work. You gotta climb up those stairs and work hard to get it. So I'm gonna stop ranting, but there's no elevator to success.